Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center O such that uh, this uh, tiny horizontal distance uh, PA is 4 units and the vertical distance uh, QB is 8 units and moreover this white uh, rectangle AOBC is inscribed in the quarter of this uh, circle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. If we scan this uh, diagram, we can see that this uh, yellow shaded region area is equal to the area of this uh, whole uh, circle minus the area of this uh, rectangle uh, AOBC as you can see in this uh, equation. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, circle. We know that this uh, PO is the radius of this circle. Let me go ahead and label this uh, radius by this uh, lowercase uh, r. And we know that this uh, tiny distance uh, PA is 4. So therefore this distance uh, AO is going to be r minus 4. So that is going to be r minus 4. And likewise we know that uh, this OQ is the radius uh, of this very same circle. So that means this is going to be a lowercase r as well. But we know that this uh, distance QB is 8. So therefore this distance uh, OB is going to be r minus 8. So that is going to be r minus 8. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and uh, connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, C on the circle. As you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. Now we know that this uh, AOBC is a rectangle. So that means these two opposite sides OB and AC are equal in length. If this is R minus 8, this has got to be R minus 8 as well. And moreover, this uh, angle uh, CAO is going to be 90 degrees as well. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, CO is the radius of this uh, circle. So this is going to be our radius uh, R as well. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, OAC. And we know that these uh, side lengths uh, are R minus 4, R minus 8, uh, and uh, r and now we are going to solve for uh, radius uh, r and we know that this is a right uh, triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and represent this uh, longest leg as our side c i'm going to represent this one by a and this side by b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is R minus 4 whole square. B is R minus 8 whole square. And C is R. So this is going to become R square. And now let's recall this famous identity. A minus B whole square equals to A square minus 2AB plus B square. We are going to apply this formula on these uh, two binomials on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and take care of this thing. That's going to give us R square minus 8R plus uh, 16 plus uh, R square minus uh, 16R plus uh, 64 equals to r square and now we can see this r square and this r square is uh, gone so let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side so that is going to give us uh, r square minus uh, 24 r plus uh, 80 equals to zero and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore let's go ahead and tweak uh, this middle part negative 24 r could be written as negative 20 r minus 4 r it doesn't make any difference whatsoever 
as you can see in this uh, next uh, step now we can see between first these two terms r is in common and likewise in these next two terms negative 4 is in common so therefore this could be written as r outside and this is going to be r minus 20 here i'm going to factor out negative 4 so we got r minus 20 equal to 0 and now we can see r minus 20 and r minus 20 they are in common so therefore we can factor out r minus 20 so we're gonna get uh, then r minus 4 equal to 0 now let's go ahead and separate these two factors so we can write r minus 20 equal to 0 and the other factor r minus 4 equal to 0 so this equation is going to give us uh, r equals to positive 20 and this uh, next equation is going to give us uh, radius r equals to positive 4. Now we can see that r equals to 4 is unrealistic. This is impossible. So therefore we are going to accept uh, r equals to 20 value and we are going to reject uh, r equals to 4. So thus uh, we conclude that our radius r turns out to be 20 uh, units so therefore our this radius r equals to 20 as far as uh, this a o is uh, concerned let's go ahead and substitute this r by 20 value so this is going to become a 20 minus 4 means this side is uh, 16 units now let's focus on this uh, b o let's uh, replace this r by 20 value so this become 20 minus uh, 8 equals to 12 length and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, aobc whose uh, side lengths are 16 and uh, 12 now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula area equals to length times width in our case our length is 16 and the width is 12 so therefore the area of this uh, rectangle aobc is going to be our length is 16 times width is 12 if we multiply this thing that is going to give us 192 square units and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square in our case our radius uh, r is 20 so therefore the area of this uh, circle is going to be pi times r in our case is 20 whole uh, square if we simplify that thing that's going to give us uh, 400 pi and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region by just filling the in the blanks in this uh, given equation therefore this uh, yellow shaded region area is going to be in our case uh, our circle area is uh, 400 pi so let me go ahead and replace it by 400 pi minus uh, the area of this rectangle aobc is 192 let me go ahead and replace uh, that one so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be 400 pi minus 192 square units and that is approximately equal to 1064.64 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye